Well, we are in uh, Sublime Text and uh, you cannot print from here. Um, I just want to give you some advice how to print. You could uh, copy and paste this, but you can also view in the browser uh, this thing and then go print. All right, and that's easiest things to do. But um, there is another way, perhaps that you can do. Um, what if I want uh, I want to print in color, and I'm printing right now in black and white. So there is this is totally totally fine. And but if I want to, I thought it is I could install a plugin or something, but I could make something um, something easier. Maybe uh, let's open the folder here from from here. And there it is. Here we are. Let's go and print CMD from uh, the address uh, the address bar. And now let's just go with Jupyter Lab. You need to have installed Jupyter Lab. Go to see one of my posts how to do it, and go check on the internet. It's very easy. Then when you open Jupyter Lab into this folder, and uh, what's what was the name of this one? Scroll bars five sync two. It is a program I'm doing for my blog. Scroll bar, well, let's see. Scroll bar 7. Let's go with this one. And now, from here, you can actually uh, print it. Or maybe you not, you cannot print it, as you can see. But you can save it as, or export your notebook as HTML. And so, export to markdown to PDF I don't know if everything works because sometimes of this because sometimes you heard I have something else installed let's go with HTML okay if it works of course and file or let's go save as save as just save it as it is, so it is not good for us. Okay, and let's go. Print is not okay. You cannot do it. Do this as a Python file, right? Okay, we understand this. So let's copy this. Let's create simply another a notebook and let's paste the code here, right? Okay, now I'm going to change the name to this and let me rename this notebook as what I'm doing here, this box. Okay. Now, let's export the notebook. Now we can, because this is a notebook and let's export the as an HTML file. Alright. Let's save it somewhere. Let's make just a list box. I already got one. And let's save it into this one listbox.html. Let's open it. So you have it here in color. Let's print it. Let's let's print it. And and it's in color in my printer. Okay, uh, now my printer is printing and I will have this version printed in color. Okay, so now it's much nicer. So this is how you can print with Sublime in black and white or in color with highlight of the, of the text in case you wonder how to do and also if you want to use this in an HTML page or something you can go into the source here and try to copy it it's not so easy because this is the code and but there are other way to okay this is the code and then you have to copy co copy some style and it's this one this where you get all this highlight class you copy this 
you copy you copy this from body to body and and uh, you copy into another file save it as an HTML file and you will have your highlight color without all these other stuff that you don't need or if you prefer you just save it save everything and it will be good unless you don't don't want to copy this on an, an HTML page to put on your blog for example on on your uh, site and that's pretty all for now thank you